Now this illustration deals with uh, vegetation as support uh, in accordance with NEC 230.10. Now in that illustration you can see a service drop being uh, supported by a tree and then uh, uh, feeding that little uh, facility. Now uh, the problems we used to have with this would be like in the Lake of the Pines, uh, uh, up where uh, a lot of tree area is, uh, uh, and so forth. And, and, you know, people would put a little cabin there, but they would use the trees to support their wiring. So something had to be done about that because more uh, cabins uh, around lakes and areas like that were being uh, uh, constructed or brought in and assembled and put together. So uh, when we uh, got in areas like the Lake of the Pines where there was a lot of trees or the thick uh, forest uh, down and around Houston area, uh, we were seeing this happen. So when they first brought this rule into the code, they said live vegetation. So then folks said, well, you know, if they're dead trees, we can support to those because they're not live and we haven't uh, gone against what the code is saying. See how misinterpretations uh, can be made. Uh, and, and inspectors would say, no, no, you know, it'd be the same for a, a, a dead tree too. You know, and they said, well, no, it's not what the code says. It says live vegetation. Can't you read your own code? Well, this started, you know, a, uh, a disagreements between installers and contractors and designers and so forth. So they came back in and corrected that and said just vegetation uh, as support. So anything where wind can blow the trees, the limbs and so forth and stretch that wire, maybe pop it and break it, they just said no, vegetation just can't be done at all. You need to set another utility pole and support those overhead conductors right. Now, we suggest to get a good handle on this, uh, read uh, and review, first of all, 230.10. That's for services. Uh, if you had a feeder conductors, 225.26. And, you know, if it's for construction purposes, then go to 490.4J as in Jim, and uh, search out these requirements based upon it being overhead service conductors, uh, overhead feeder conductors, or conductors that are used for construction purposes. But figure 6-11 just basically deals with vegetation used as supports in accordance with 230.10 is prohibited.